Hello, students, and welcome back to the Terabyte series, Past Questions and Answers. On this particular episode, where we have been looking at the 2015 WASI school candidates exams for elective ICT, a few minutes ago, we solved question one, which was an HTML question. And now we are about to move into our database question. Now, first of all, I always recommend that before you solve a database question, it is important to plan how you're going to solve your question so that it saves you time and then it gives you an understanding of the solution that is required. So I'm going to go ahead and read the question to you. Then we'll open our database application, which is MS Access, and then we'll go ahead to provide a solution. So the question says, use an appropriate database application to design a database for a distribution company. Name its client orders in the folder created. Very important information. Our database is supposed to be called client orders and it's supposed to be stored in the folder we have created, which currently on my PC is Sebru. Sebru 101123223, right? Containing already our HTML. Then A says, create three tables as shown below, defining the fields appropriately which is a key instruction. Our first table is called TBL client. Second table is called TBL orders. Third table is called TBL stock. Right, now it says using the tables, create a relationship to enable a user to be design a form to show the following. So there's our form criteria. C says insert your full name and system date into the footer. D says save the form as F rm order and e says produce the relationship report and save r underscore report in the database now the beautiful thing about planning is that it gives you an overview of your requirement to answer your question now we know that we're supposed to what create these tables which we are going to do then we are supposed to what create a relationship so first thing first we're going to create the tables by defining the fields appropriately that is after we have created the application client orders and stored it in our Sebru 1012232, right? Based on whatever you have on your PC for your name and your folder, you're going to save your application in that folder. We are supposed to define our fields appropriately and then we're going to create a relationship. Now, by simply inspecting the tables before us, you're going to notice that in TBL clients and TBL orders, client ID is common. So this is going to act as our foreign key to link both tables. Now, if you look at TBL orders and TBL stock, you're going to instantly notice that item ID is common. So that's going to be our foreign key to link TBL stock to TBL orders, which is eventually going to create our relationship for us. Next thing to do is insert your full name and system date into the footer, which we are going to do. Then we are going to save our form. I'm going to produce a relationship report. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward for a cool 15 marks. So at this point, we're going to delve into the application, which is MS Access. So we're going to click on the blank desktop database. Then we are going to create the name of our database. Now, if you recall from our previous discussion, we say we're going to name it what? Client orders. So we're going to go ahead and name it client others. And the storage location is going to be in our folder that we have created, which is Sebru. Right, so we go ahead and save it. We are done with that particular condition and instruction. We click on create. So welcome to our MS database application. I am using 2016 edition. I don't know what edition you are using, but things shouldn't be too different. Now we're going to create our table. The question says, create three tables as shown. First table is called TBL clients, defining the fields appropriately. So we are going to save this table, click on save. We're going to name it TBL, capital C, clients. Now to name or define the fields appropriately, I'm going to change to design view. So our first field is client ID. Data type, because the question has prescribed a data type, we're going to use number so that we can enter 
We are type as we please. Now, next one is client name. The other type here is going to be short text, right? Then we have location, which is also going to be short text. Then we have telephone, which is going to be short text. Why? Because in our question, we have a plus symbol being included. So we can't use number because of the symbol. All right, so short text, we have number, short text, short text, short text. We're going to switch back into our data sheets view. Yes. And then we have our table ready, which we are going to go ahead and what populate the information. This is something we've discussed previously. Now we are required to create three other tables. So I'm just going to go ahead and then create the other tables before I start a population. So table two, which we are going to name as what? Save TBL what? Orders. Okay. Also, you're going to switch to design view. Our first field is order ID. We're going to change auto number to number. Then we have, okay, the order ID includes alphabet. So we're going to change this to text instead, short text. Then we have client ID, also short text. Okay, I just noticed something. Because this ID here includes alphabets, we are going to go back to TBO ID, switch back to design view and change this to short text. That's because our client ID is not just made up of numbers. So back to TBL orders. So you're going to have, we have order ID, client ID, item ID, which is also a short text. And then we have order date, and the format that is currently appears on our sheet, I'm also going to make the word short text. So we are done with that. And then we go to our third table. Create table TBL stock. Once again, you're going to save the table as TBL stock. It's supposed to be capital stock. Okay, then we are going to switch to design view and create the necessary parameters. So we have item ID as our first short text. Then we have item name, which is also a short text. Then we have QT wider quantity in stock. This time it's supposed to be a number because is only made up of what? Numbers, right. So we have three tables, TBL clients. Let's just switch to data sheet view. Yes, save. We have TBL clients, we have TBL orders. Switch. Yes, save. Then we have TBL stocks. Yes, save. So we have our three tables as required. Next thing to do is to populate our table. So I'm going to go back to TBL clients on our left-hand side, and I'm going to enter uh, the necessary information. Appear Joy from Junji. Telephone number is plus three two two four four. Sorry, plus three, two, four, four, six, six, seven. Next person is ID002. Okay, three zeros. Then we have Friday Lucas from Lusaka. Two, three, one, four, seven, two, eight. 
Right, so at this point, we are basically just going to populate our tables. I am going to pause the video here. Go ahead, populate my tables. You are to pause the video and do same using the question paper that has been provided for you. Then we are going to meet when the tables are populated in just a few seconds. You can skip the video to that part if you are done. And then we're going to proceed with the other questions that have been required of us.